Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to Wi-Fi Fundamentals with Location and Analytics. This course will help you to master the air. We're advancing and up until now, hopefully you understand what RSSI is and what is the inverse square law. We will look at RSSI ranging done in your home. RSSI measurement can be done manually or automatically. We can measure and create a fingerprint of the area or get real-time results and based on the free space path loss and the inverse square law, determine the distance. That's you, by the way. One of the ranging app you can think of is space utilization. Space utilization can be used by comparing RSSI values and timestamps of the people occupying the room or the house. RSSI distance measurement can be done through a simple site survey carried by a professional or even your Android phone. The walls in your house actually helps us to block RF from getting outside the room. Once planned right, knowing RSSI threshold in the edges of the house room we can tell if our house is occupied or empty. As people enter the house, their RSSI values and time spent are taken. Let's see how it looks in Google Sheets. In Google Sheets, I have a table that includes six columns. The first one is my access point that I positioned at home. The second one is the time. The third one is the MAC address, the MAC address of the smartphones that, or laptops or just about any device that my access point senses. The fourth column is RSSI in DBM. Let's skip that column, it is used just for the function purposes. And then I have the function which is called home or away. The function says that if RSSI value is equal or greater than 45 in negative DBM values, then the person holding that device is at home. Otherwise, it is away. So we can see that we have two devices that are at home and two other devices that are away from home. Measurement of the RSSI values is done multiple times to eliminate errors. Using more than one access point, we can use RSSI even for positioning. RSSI distance measurement will change dramatically according to frequency, antennas gain, polarization, and environment interferences. Next up, we will look at the RSSI equation, a simple equation that will help you to measure distances. See you soon.